Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter, where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Friday the 16th of July 2021. Uh, I am John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, and our assistant curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked to commemorate um, Osmond, Bishop of Salisbury, 1099. A few words about Osmond. Born the son of a Norman Count, Osmond came to England in the wake of William the Conqueror, his mother's half-brother, and was quickly promoted to Chancellor in 1072. Six years later, he became Bishop of Salisbury and completed the building of the new cathedral at Old Sarum. He was a scholar and a good administrator, but was best loved for his lack of avarice and ambition, traits apparently not common in the new hierarchy of church and state. He took part in collecting the information for the Doomsday Book and was present at Sarum when it was presented to the king in 1086. He is said to have compiled the Sarum use. Osmond died on the 4th of December 1099 and his remains were translated to the new cathedral in Salisbury on this day in the year 1457. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins Heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional Compline him is spoken. <coughs> Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 139, starting at the first verse, is, Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me so high that I cannot attain it. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Where can I go then, from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, Surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me. 
turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way. That trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading tonight is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, Thank you for this wonderful day. As the sun begins to burn down in the evening, we are grateful for the gift of your creation. And we ask, Lord, as a benefice that is particularly concerned with Eco Church and the importance of preserving and improving that which you have given us. We ask your guidance in order to achieve the best ways to enjoy and to harness 
the creation that is all around us. And we ask for your blessing on the activities of our clergy and our laity in achieving great aims. We also ask, gracious Lord, that as border force vessels go out into the channel to pick up refugees desperately trying to come to this country for a better life, that all those in the border force and the home office act with kindness, with love for your created humanity, and that we in this country can hold up our head and say that we fully understand the plight of refugees. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a refugee. And we remember those days of fear when his parents fled into Egypt and were not turned away at the border. And we pray for all those who tonight and throughout this weekend are living in fear, are unhappy, are unfulfilled, who feel that they are lost and forgotten. Gracious Lord, come alongside them. Let them know that they are loved by their Creator. And in our hearts, we bring to your throne and your altar all those people who are on our minds that we are concerned about. We know that you already know their names. They are already in your book. But we ask that you help us with our task of community and love to keep alongside those who are suffering in any way tonight and this weekend. And we name them now, Lord, quietly to ourselves. Our collect for tonight. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, <coughs> so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for staying with us up until this weekend, uh, these last few days. It's been an honour uh, to be with you. And uh, I have one announcement to make. Uh, we are not having uh, our usual coffee session at 11.15. Uh, we are not uh, getting together on the Zoom. Uh, I apologise for that unexpected family situation. Uh, but we should be back to normal next Sunday. 
Uh, the rector will be back with you on Monday morning at nine o'clock for morning prayer. And of course, she has sent you the details of our Sunday services. Enjoy the sunshine this evening and for the rest of the weekend. And I look forward to joining you with the rector uh, next week. Thank you and good night.